because the focus is very much uh, with the Royal Australian Navy on their submarine service, that's why the uh, contingents are especially uh, large this year. And uh, uh, Captain Bond uh, takes over her residence uh, at what used to be called uh, Gun House, which is at Artillery Barracks in Fremantle, where the Army Museum is. And Gun House was the former home of the Army Brigadiers for decades in Western Australia, who commanded the 5th Military District. But in more recent years, as the, uh, the Navy, the Royal Australian Navy, has become more prominent, uh, Gun House has now passed into possession and has become all white, uh, with the uh, Navy uh, senior person uh, living there. That's on Cantonment Hill in Fremantle. white uniforms, Royal Australian Navy certainly standing out in the centre of Perth today. Most oh, certainly, I think, uh, with the HMS Tireless there, that's that uh, Royal Navy touch, and uh, they're taking part, of course, in the search for the Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, and that's led by uh, Captain Commander uh, Hal Griffiths, and they're very privileged to be part of the parade today uh, in Western Australia. The Army contingent... Led by the Australian Army Band of Perth, 25 marching, the Band Sergeant Major, Graeme Hay. The Band will be leading uh, 13 Brigade, which is the uh, Army uh, component in Western Australia. The salute being taken by the Brigade Commander, Colonel David uh, uh, Thompson. So the Australian Army Band formed in 1949, originally a brass band known as the Western Command Band, converted to a concert band in 1972. So David Thompson uh, carrying the sword at the front of the troops. Uh, David Thompson AM, assistant commander 13th Brigade, and Colonel Milton Butcher uh, take the salute for uh, Brigadier Coggan, who's uh, in Albany with the uh, Regimental Sergeant Major for the Albany services. So uh, 1128 Battalion uh, colours are on parade today. Money officer of uh, 1128 Royal West Australian Regiment Battle Group is Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Adams and the Regimental Sergeant Major is one officer class one Brian Lynch. They're also made up uh, the battle group confines also with infantry and also the third light battery Royal Australian Artillery make up the battle group there. 16 Battalion uh, Cameron Highlands uh, also on parade with their colour party uh, including uh, Lieutenant Rodney Calum and Lieutenant uh, Peter Murdoch. And the senior escort is one of uh, class two, uh, Joe Chichila. And Queen's colour escort is Stephen Truen. And regimental colour sergeant escort is Sergeant Dan Craig. Uh, the Royal Sergeants there. So all the colours are on parade today, which is excellent to see. They carry on the traditions of the, uh, their regiments uh, from the Boer War and also into the, uh, the First World War, World War II period. Uh, a Squadron, 10th Light Horse. On parade. And what's the story with the plumes there? Well, perhaps? they stem back uh, from the days, actually comes out of Queensland. And uh, this is pre-Boer War. And it was, uh, they used to uh, chase down the emus as a skill in testing their military expertise in riding. And by catching uh, a few tufts of the emu plumes and putting them in their hat, they became a tradition for the light horse uh, into the Boer War. And uh, some of the states also had uh, swan plumes. Uh, but the First World War and onwards, uh, the light horse and the Royal Australian Armoured Corps were the plumes in their hats.